Uh, my name is Greg Batista. I did the album artwork for Elevator Art's new EP, Martian Diver. After Elevator Art came up to me and offered the opportunity to do the album artwork for the EP, um, they gave me a couple ideas which centered around the Martian Diver character and I wanted to have a really genuine costume. I wanted to portray him very genuinely. So I did my research, looked up how the suit is put together, how everything works, the appearance, how it uh, looked up a couple films on how it weighs uh, the character down, which is ironic because in space your weight doesn't matter, so that's why he looks like he's floating around a lot. And um, I did my research, I sat down with my sketchbook, just started sketching out some ideas, used a couple references just to make sure I didn't deviate too far from the, uh, the diver suits. And from there I just started transferring to, to another, th those ideas onto bigger paper. I did the front cover, the back cover, and the interior art. Um, I did it as somewhat of a, the next step of how I did the artwork for their last EP. Um, the interior art that I did for Ten City was all pen and ink. I used some spray paint and some, uh, some acrylics and I did basically all ink. And with this one, considering how it was a lot more space to cover, they gave me a lot more room to work with. I was able to, in a way, capture the story that they were trying to tell with the album and the music itself, but also tell a story in my own way uh, just by using three panels. Um, the front cover shows the diver in a suit, he's out in space, um, which is an interesting concept to begin with, uh, since we're always used to seeing astronauts in an outer space setting. And then as you go progressing through the album, it tells his story, which spins off into him being a little lost, and if you see the interior artwork, it's the diver floating in outer space. His tube is connected to something you can't even see actually because it just goes off into um, off the panel. And if you take a look at all of his equipment, you see that it's a little dented, it's a little grittier. Um, he's been through a lot. I had an idea that I wanted to incorporate that when I was originally making the preliminary drawings for the album art which would include the title of the another track, Bear 141. I wanted it something cool for the people that are really into celestial bodies and constellations and everything like that. I still wanted to incorporate something with the bear, so if you take a look at the interior art, there's going to be a mess of large stars, but if you pay attention and if you know your constellations, uh, you're going to actually see Ursa Major, so I did actually get to incorporate um, some sort of bear aspect into it. And then when you finally go to the back cover, it's um, him just sprawled out uh, up against the rock. He looks like he's totally given up on everything. And also, if you look a little closer to his helmet, you'll just see that it's all cracked up. The glasses um, a little messier. His clothes just look like he's completely disheveled. And um, like I said, his equipment just looks like it, like he's on the brink of just giving up. When I work on art in general, I get lost a little bit, I get really into the piece and I try to almost put my myself in the place of that character so I almost identify with them so that when I was doing the EP artwork, I would get lost like the character in space, I would get lost in that space, in that zone and nothing else around me existed outside of that, uh, outside of that piece of paper. And if you wanted to check out more of my art, you can go to facebook.com, Art of Greg Bautista, or you could go to my website, which is gregbautista.com. I'll also be displaying the EP artwork at the Elevator Art EP release show. It's going to be on October 20th at the Stone Pony in Asbury Park, so if you want to see it, come check it out and I'll see you there.